The way that churches teach believers to live is not the way Jesus taught and showed us how to live. The church ways are the ways of the world, because church organizations are controlled and operated by worldly people. The seminary trained preachers are coached along the ways of the worldly churches. They do not know nor follow Jesus, therefore they themselves do not know the ways of Jesus. How can they, who themselves do not know the way, teach others how to be disciples of Jesus? The institutionalized churches butcher and twist the words of Jesus to support their false teachings. Their doctrines turn believers into slaves of the church organizations instead of making them disciples of Jesus. Jesus Christ himself showed us how to live. He gave us his instructions, his teachings and his commands as they were also recorded in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. He also gave the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. The words of Jesus are plain and simple. A child can understand them. But once believers have been indoctrinated by churches, they are blind to the truth. To follow Jesus is a way of living, His way, according to His commands, being led by His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, not by various doctrines and opinions of men. There is only one way to have eternal life, and that is to follow and obey Jesus, not by faith alone or by any of the other doctrines that are taught by the churches. Go and read the words of Jesus in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. The red letter words in some Bibles, for yourself. Read them as though you have never read them before. Then you will learn the ways of the Kingdom of God. Take His words seriously and obey them. Repent and be baptized in water. Turn from your worldly and wicked ways. Live your life to please Jesus. Stop sinning. Examine yourself. Pray, and Jesus will guide you. The Holy Spirit will convict you of things in your life that are not pleasing to Jesus. Eliminate those things. Get rid of them. Stop doing them. The Holy Spirit will remind you of the words of Jesus, as they are also recorded in the Gospel. He will speak to you in your mind, in your conscience, sometimes through dreams, to show you the way. Change your ways. Focus your life on what Jesus requires of you. If you are not sure, pray and ask Jesus to guide you. Fill your mind with Jesus and His words. Stop watching TV. Stop playing senseless video games. Stop going after sensuality, entertainment and idle pleasure. Get rid of and avoid worldly media, books, and music, games. Stop going along with worldly friends. They will lead you away from Jesus. Testify to them, and if they reject you, move on. Go after Jesus. Do not go after people for their acceptance. Change your way of living. Stop being lazy. Work hard at whatever you do, whether it be school or work. Do it to glorify Jesus. If it's not pleasing to Jesus, stop doing it or change direction. Much of what people study is senseless, even satanic. Ask Jesus for guidance and direction. He will show you whether to change a study direction or work. Live within your means. Get out of debt. Honor Jesus in everything you do. In all relationships, Jesus must come first. Ask His wisdom and guidance. Do not fornicate or commit adultery. Live holy. Live in peace with all people, even those who hate and reject you, those who treat you badly. In all relationships, seek the guidance of Jesus, with your spouse, your children, your family. Live to please Jesus. Seek Him in prayer. Ask Him to baptize you in the Holy Spirit, to fill you with His Holy Spirit. Commit your life to Jesus and live every day to please Him. 
If you do these things, Jesus will reveal himself to you. He will guide and teach you. You will know him for real. Do not think that it will be easy. Many days will seem impossible. But if you stay with Jesus, you will overcome. Jesus will make a way for you to follow him. If you don't, you will not enter his kingdom. And you will not have eternal life. There is only one way, Jesus' way. Do not go after the ways of the churches. Those ways lead to destruction. Follow Jesus, His way. Stay with Him until the end, and you will have life. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive, and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ, so that you can know Him, and follow Him, and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.